Three, two, one, go. All right, we're gonna be probably starting off with boy two blue. No, bow tie is gonna start first. Uh, the only problem is we do not have audio from Bowtie, so he's gonna be the first one to go. Getting the pipe rub there, nothing too crazy, boy too blue. Ooh, not keeping that P-speed, probably wasn't expecting that. Boy too blue is gonna get the side jump, Bowtie is going to finish up. He's got away, man, yeah, that happens in races. That happens in races. Cleans up, I hope he knows, I hope he's been watching other races so he knows that like something like that early on is not a big problem. Normally not a huge mistake. Uh, both these runners have very similar PVs as well, so it's not like... It's not like we're gonna see a crazy difference in strategies. Neither runner getting early P-speed in 1-2. Gonna have to take the walk of shame. Not building it, but Bowtie is gonna get the leaf there, and he's gonna use that in the fortress, so he can kind of do like the 100% route, um, which allows him to just fly right over. Boy 2 Blue taking the lead, so that's good for the audio. All right, here we go. Let's see if Boy 2 Blue gets the early P-Speed, yes. Oh, Bowtie did the old left-right strats. Very nice. Nice, very nice on Boy 2, getting the, uh, the P-Speed strat. Bowtie's gonna do the fly up and they're very even with each other. Nice, dude, I love to see that early on the races. Boy 2 has two stars though, that's gonna be a big problem. Having two stars, getting a movement of one though, should be fine. And Bowtie gonna come up quickly. The first point that you can get in World 1 is going to be the MFP tunnel. We'll see if they'll be able to get that right here. Boy 2's gonna first try, he's gonna go for a big jump. Doesn't get it. Bowtie's gonna be second up. This is a great opportunity. Oh, that was so close. And he started a little bit on the hill. Oh, and he takes the death. He takes the death. Uh, he had already tried the tunnel though, so unfortunately he's not gonna be able to bring that back. And uh, taking that death. We have seen early game deaths. So that's really not the end of the world. Uh, the most important thing is uh, having practice and knowing exactly how to recover uh, from this kind of situation. Definitely not expecting to take that death there. He's going to throw the... Oh, right over his head. Hey, he should be good. He's good here. Very nice. Very nice. Gets peace speed back and he's out of there. Very nice. And, and just like that, right? He's only like 40 seconds behind. If Boy 2 takes a death, then they kind of even it back out, right? Um, so let's see if Boy 2 gets a... Oh, he had fight early hammer, brother. Let's see if he gets the leaf in the mushroom house. This could make the big difference here. Um, and he does not get the leaf. This is an opportunity for Bowtie to get the leaf and then get the hell out of there. Nice. Does he get thrown jump? He does get thrown jump. So just like that. He doesn't have the point in his pocket, though, but he does get the thrown jump. This is where Bowtie needs to get the, th the flower. Or sorry, the leaf. This would be one extra point on his opponent. And Bowtie doing a nice backup in 1-5, he, uh, or 1-6. He is able to get the mushroom there, and he knows that, so then he can get the fire flower here, and then he can enter. Going with the mashing strats, he's gonna do the mushroom house. He is going for the mushroom house. Very nice. Let's see if he gets that back pocket point. There was a tie it up, if he remembered, and he does not. He gets the mushroom, unfortunate. I've, I'm against the first chest in the mushroom house. I don't know why. I don't know why. Bowtie moving fast, not getting thrown jumped, so... Uh, Boy 2 is going to have a slight advantage there with one thrown jump, but six more to go. Six more to go. And just like that, there on the auto scrollers, a whole lot of nothing going on right now. A whole lot of nothing. Nothing! He's gonna go for the fire kill, missed a couple shots. Oh, he's flip-flapping. He's gonna give Bowtie a little bit of time to catch up here. Oh, and he takes damage! Not entering World 2 with the Fire Flower is gonna mean he's not eligible for the Lost Fire Flower uh, for World 1 and 2. He started World 2 without it. Therefore, he doesn't have it. Therefore, he doesn't get the point. That's unfortunate. That is... That is a you-hate-to-see-it moment. That is definitely a hate-to-see-it moment. Alright, now it's Bowtie's turn at the boss. Bowtie can clean up a faster, better fight. Okay, he's just gonna go for the stomp. That's pretty good. He's actually gonna save a bit of time by going for the stomp. It's, it's, it's gonna work out much better for him. Very nice. 430. He is out of there. Boy 2 is gonna start off with 2-1. Not having Fire Flower. It shouldn't affect him too much. Not having Fire Flower. Nice. He does low music note. Which, uh, normally you see runners do the high music note. You don't have to worry about, uh, rubbing the wall there, but, you know, it's more, it's definitely what's comfortable with you. 
Uh, it's definitely all about what's comfortable. And that, 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 that's good here. We're going to see him backtrack for the spade game. He is going to backtrack for the spade game. Instantly throws over the 10 bucks. And there it is right there. Instantly throws over the 10 bucks. This is another one of those situations that Bowtie doesn't go for the spade game and tries to take the lead in time. Then it was worth it, right? It, it means it was worth it for sure. So this could be very interesting. Nice, and he gets the turn back with the mushroom. Or if Bowtie just goes for the $10 and, and then gets out of there, then he doesn't have to worry, but let's see what he does. He is gonna go down and go for the spade card game. That's really, really good. Boy 2 Blue, not fall. Oh my gosh, he was a pixel away. And Bowtie gets the $10 spade card game. Very nice. Uh, is he gonna finish up? Is he gonna try and get Fire Flowers? He sh definitely should, and he does. Very nice. He's looking at his cheat sheet again, making sure he knows what he's what he's getting. He gets the star. Um, and I think that should be it for inventory. I think he should get out of there. Not really worry about the mushrooms uh, too much here. Boy 2, not getting early P speed here. We have seen before, it does cost a little bit of time. Bowtie taking a little bit of too much time. He's out of there though, okay, good. Bump it up, ooh, the triple bump on the overall map. We're gonna, I wonder if we're gonna see that in World 5. Wonder if we're gonna see that in World 5. Gotta watch out for the throne jump. Or, oh, in the moat, I meant moat, not throne jump, but he does fall in the moat. He's gonna lose those points and he takes damage. That is okay with the damage because his opponent had also taken damage too. Very nice, very nice. All right, boy two, not gonna get a chance to fight his first hammer brother yet. Bowtie also, so far not gonna get a chance. Oh, boy two had the delayed P-Speed. Let's see if this delayed P-Speed is gonna allow him to take the shell all the way to the end. Doesn't get it killed. It's shaking. Nice, he does get it. He does get it, very nice. Let's scroll back up here. Very nice, gets the red rocket. Boom. Mm, here we go. Nice. Oh, losing P speed there for some reason. I'm not sure why he lost P speed there. That's that's awkward. Um, and boy two still not fighting his first hammer brother. Still not fighting his first hammer brother. He's got the sun level to look out for. The sun level is not too bad for these runners. Both runners have taken damage, so they don't really have to worry a whole lot about taking damage. And Bowtie gonna fight his first bro, and it does move backwards. That's really good for him. He needs he needs to clean up an RNG point here. Taking damage. I don't know what happened. I looked away and, and he was flashing with two boomerangs coming out. So maybe he missed his uh, initial jump. Boy 2 getting forward pattern. So he's not gonna be eligible uh, for the RNG point. Bowtie gonna go for the red rocket strategy. He does get delayed P speed, which is good. That's the exact same thing that happened to Boy 2. Let's see if he can get it. Nice, good jump there. The game is running so slow, he has just enough time, and beautiful, and he does get the red rocket. Now I'm interested, if Bowtie gets the RNG point here, he will be one point away, and neither runner has a leaf in their inventory to clean up in World 6. Neither runner has the leaf. Okay, so here we go. Bowtie needs one more hammer, brother. Not gonna get post 2-3. He is gonna have to do bottom route, which is very nice. It's much, much easier. These runners are doing a fantastic job. I don't think either of them have been in like a full on tournament cash prize style point system out of everyone's comfort zone tournament. So this is really cool. Nice, Bowtie getting a star there. Not gonna have to worry too much about a fanfare. Boy 2 doing very nice in the pyramid. Bowtie gonna fight this hammer, brother. Does it get backwards? Oh, and it doesn't go backwards. What a rip off. Is not gonna get that point. Oh, boy, two taking damage there. This is interesting. He could die right here. This is very scary. Okay, he's good. He's good. Boy, two has a, a pretty uh, chunky lead on uh, Bowtie right now, but hopefully Bowtie can uh, clean it up a little bit. He does know his P speed strategies here. Look at Bowtie. He's killing us. So he, he does know what he needs to do. He's just got to tighten it up a little bit uh, if he wants to bring it back. Boy 2 not getting a throne jump right there, so he is out of the throne jump game. Both runners not going to be throne jumping. Nice, Bowtie going to the pyramid. Uh, he can't get backwards, bro, so we are moving closer to world three points. 
Meanwhile, Bowtie is going to get P-Speed in the Pyramid looking pretty hot here. Nice. That's a nice waiting strat. You know, don't add too much stress. Uh, it doesn't really lose you much time. Let's see what he does here. Nice. He is going to go back in the run forward. Very nice. He's not going to take damage, so he is going to have Fire Flower uh, on the airship for World 2. Uh, that, that is a mild advantage. Boy 2 is going to have to slow down in 3-1 to get his Fire Flower where Bowtie is not. So that's going to be able to chance for him to catch up. Unless... Boy 2 takes damage on this boss or Bowtie. They're going to result in the same thing happening to them. Hold on a sec. I'm going to grab a drink. Oh, no, I got a drink right here. Never mind. Whew. Ooh, they both jumped at the same time. It's a good thing the boss didn't jump because I feel like Boy 2 would have jumped right into him. It doesn't take damage. Very nice. That's right, he doesn't take damage. Very nice. Oh, thank heavens, I'm back to my old self again. So we don't want to see Bowtie taking damage here. I, I, what I really want to see is him kind of take it a little slow to make sure he doesn't. Uh, but not too slow. Boy 2 did do pretty fast stomp strat. Oh, and he gets the frame jump at the start of 3-1. That is going to be good for him if he can get it. Nice. Bowtie getting the same boss pattern. Very, very easy for both of our runners. And look, look at Bowtie. He looks so comfortable. Knows exactly what he wants to do. Boy 2 not going to get the Fire Flower in 3-1. That one is probably one of the faster ones as uh, he's able to keep P-Speed. Um, if you get Fire Flower in 3-2, it not only prevents you from getting P-Speed in 3-2, but you don't keep P-Speed after and it's a little back and forth slow. But if you don't plan on getting P-Speed in 3-2, then it's not so bad. Uh, oh, he's going to do the drop down. Grab. Very nice. Very nice. So we don't know what kind of fish he's going to get here. It might result in... Ooh, he almost went through that fish. And he almost went through that fish, too. That was insane. Very nice. Very... Ooh. Very nice fish work from him. A bow tie also... Ooh, bow tie's not going to get the frame jump. So that is going to be given to boy. That is going to be given. The shared points there. Shared points. All right, here he goes. And 3-3 three, three is going to get P-Speed. Bowtie is going to finish up 3-1. Three, 3-1 one. Three, a pretty boring stage. Oh, and he clips into the blue. Keeps P-Speed. Oh, man. He clipped into the blue block. He's going to keep it. He fell into the water. Oh, man. That was crazy. Bouncing off Cheap Cheeps. Bowtie not out of runaway range yet. That's pretty good. Bowtie not going to have to get... Look at that. Bowtie catching up here. Um, not having to do... Oh, very nice. Not Only not falling in the water... Very nice level from Bowtie. That was sick. Not falling in the water. Oh, no. He is in coin ship range. Odds change. Evens don't. He knows. Evens don't change. That's... Oh, man. Boy 2 not getting door 4 either. This is insane right now. I didn't even notice. Bowtie on the edge of Runaway, bro. He's going to get some coins here. So, hopefully... uh, Very nice. If he doesn't have the same kind of slip-ups, which looks like he's not going to have the slip-ups here... That boy too had... Oh, he lands in the water. A little bit of a slip up. And like that, he's at a coin ship range. Very nice. Bowtie is definitely catching up right now. Um, and boy too blue doesn't get run away. That was so close. That was so close. Unfortunately, he's not going to get it. And Bowtie does get the RNG runaway, bro. He is going to be awarded that point. Does Bowtie get door four though? Or is he not going to go for door four? I don't know which one he's going to go for. Oh, and he doesn't get it. He really needed that point, too. He really needed that point. All right, and Boy 2 is definitely out of runaway range there. Definitely out of runaway range, which means he's going to have to do the Fortress in World 4. Nice Bowtie with a fire kill. Bowtie is one level behind, especially if he's not going to be fighting these Hammer Brothers here. And Boy 2 Blue almost having 88 coins. Uh, Hammer Brother looks like he did a movement of three, so Bowtie might get screwed over here. Ooh, not getting P-Speed. 
Jumped just a little early. He should be able to get it here, though. Oh, he's going to go for the slide strats. And then he's going to get it here. Okay, very nice. Oh, boy, too, with the age jump. Look at that. Very nice. All right, so what's the game here, Bowtie? What's the game? It's going to P-Wing, or it's going to Cloud, right? Yep, Cloud. Very nice. No inventory stars for either runner. Just like that. No door fours. They both lost Fire Flower in World 2, so they're not eligible for that point. And Boy 2 is out of World 3. He's on his way. Very nice. All right. Yeah, no lost Fire Flower. He didn't get Runaway Bro. Bowtie got Runaway Bro, though. Neither runner got door four. Um, and Boy 2 did get frame jump, Bowtie didn't, and yeah, they both lost Fire Flowers, so that's, that's about it for both of our runners. Alright, Bowtie, let's see it. Let's see the big H jump. Nice! Both runners getting the, the beautiful H jump. Very, very nice. Beautiful H jump. Very nice. Bowtie is going to be finishing up World 3. Not too far behind here. The hands can definitely make this up here. The hands can definitely make this up here. Just get that, that patented movement of two. Nice. And the points are very, very close right now. Lots of, lots of swings can happen right here. How's it going, Chad? Hope you guys are having a good time. Hope everybody's enjoying themselves. Boy 2 going to go for the fire kill. All right. So let's uh let's see when the king gets the wand in his hand and that will be the king getting the wand in his hand will be the time that we use to see the time difference for these two runners. And they're both on the same pace. So 17 16 exactly. So 17 16 exactly. Seventeen, sixteen. So about ten seconds so far behind. All right, boy two is going to be the first one to enter world four, and he's got bottom pattern, bottom P speed. Oh yeah, the bottom. Nice, the shell grab, the patented MFP shell grab. I love it. He does get it though. He does get bottom path. He's doing a little flip flaps here, but not too bad. 17.55. So it's less than 40 seconds behind. That's actually pretty good. But he is a couple points behind. So he's gotta he's gotta be able to clean these points back up, right? He's gotta be able to clean these points back up. Nice, making great work of 4-2. Bowtie a little bit behind here. Bowtie needs Boy 2 to slip up. Boy 2 is not slipping up at all. He's not giving him an edge. He's getting pretty decent RNG. It's, it's just not happening just yet. Nice, Bowtie with the shell grab. He should be able to get it as well. Oh no, he tipped the edge. As long as he stays in the bottom path with P-Speed. And he does. Wow, that was close. Almost didn't get it. Very nice. Boy 2, again, also not slowing down for anyone right now. Wow, and Boy 2 making great work of these levels. Uh, Bowtie getting a little bit of bad RNG in comparison. <sighs> Almost takes damage there, not doing the despawn strategy. All right, Boy 2 is going to have to do the for Fortress first. Is he going to lose Fire Flower? Is he going to do Easy Strat? Or is he going to do Backup? Nope. Wow, almost, but he does take damage there. Very close on his part. Very, very close. Nice, Mr. Bowtie is going to take bot uh, Top Path here. Uh, it seems to work very well with some runners. 
Nice, looking good, looking good. Oh, and Bowtie takes damage there. Panics a little bit. Um, didn't need to panic, because, you know, you take damage, you just keep pulling forward and continue uh, the same jumps, but you're not expecting it, so it's it's not the end of the... Ooh, Boy 2 taking damage here. Oh, this could be scary. He doesn't know exactly where he's going to throw them. Oh, and he makes it very nice. Nice, Bowtie. I want to see Bowtie take the bottom path, unless he's going to just damage boost and then use his... Yes, he's going to take the bottom path. Is he going to grab Fire Flower in the bottom path, though? That is the question. Neither runner getting Marathon. No Marathon yet in World 4. It's crazy, man. Nobody's getting Marathons uh, in these tournaments. He's going to use this extra music box to avoid that Hammer Brother. He's got to use his Fire Flower so he can get the Duck Jumps. And here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Staying in the duck jump pose. Keep jump, yet. Yeah. Very nice, and he does get the duck jump. No marathon, though. Nice, Bowtie using a P-Wing in 4-4. Very, very unusual, but it seems like he's not gonna take damage and then use a leaf in the next level. Very, very nice strategies. Um, I love seeing different things. Boy, too, getting early P-Speed in the Fortress. Runs off the stairs, loses it a bit, though. Bowtie gonna take the damage. Oh man, almost takes damage off that other spiny. That was way too close, but he does nail it. I don't think he wanted to take damage. Um, yeah, I don't think he wanted to take damage there. He is gonna be able to get his cloud here. Yes, the cloud, the cloud. And boy two getting P-Wing and not cloud inventory. Bowtie gonna have to use a music box here. Oh, he's going to go down to 4-5. Not going to go for the point in 4-6 as he doesn't have his tail. Uh, that makes... That actually makes a lot of sense. He's going to try and avoid these Hammer Brothers as well. Get the backup Fire Flower. Feels a little safer. A little more comfort. Uh, it'll be a mild time loss, but honestly not the end of the world. Actually, in a natural warpless race, this would be a better decision if you hadn't already used the music box. So, pretty damn good. Very nice, Bowtie getting the boxless World 4. Almost gets P-Speed, man. He had it. He, uh, I don't think he was quite confident in it, though, because he had it. He just needed to push it a little bit further. Very nice for Bowtie. These runners are actually fantastic. They're doing a really good job. A damn good job. Yeah, Bowtie with the boxless here. Uh, I don't think that's the first boxless we've seen, but definitely it's always nice to see a boxless World 4. It is always nice to see a boxless World 4. I love it. All right. Just like that. Just like that. Not a whole lot going on this airship, guys. The typical airship. Ooh, Boy 2 missing his... Oh, fireballs. He's going to have to stomp. Nice. Oh, whoa. That was close. That was way too close. Hey, I only got boxless because I fought all the bros. I mean, I guess that's still boxless, right? I guess that's still boxless. Nice. Boatai not going to be able to catch up um, a whole lot in World 4. I don't think he caught up with any time. Uh, but he's not out of it. Not even close. All right, World 5. Boy 2 Blue is, is going to do Pingwing strategies in 5-1. Um, somewhat advanced strategies having to do the clip in 
Getting a first try is pretty tough, and not only getting a first try, but, you know, being able to get it uh, after you don't get a first try can be pretty rough. All right, is boy two gonna go for- Oh, he can't, he can't get the points. He's not gonna go for it, right? Okay. Oh no. Imagine falling down anyways. When is boy two gonna run out of steam? He has not run out of steam this whole time yet. Oh, realized he needed to take damage, but it's a little too late here. Nice, he's gonna clean up with the slide strategies. Very nice. No movement of four there. No movement of four. He does need a movement of four. If if Bowtie has strategies for the 282 fall, this would be really good for him. This would be really good for him here. Nice. I kind of figured Bowtie wasn't going to use this. He does have boxless, so he doesn't actually need to do 5-1 P-Wing, and he saves the extra P-Wing uh, for 6-9 or 7-6. Any, anything he wants to do there. Very nice. So he definitely did that level a little bit faster on Bowtie's side. I really, really, he's entering here with Fire Flower. He's allowed to use inventory. All right, is he gonna do 83? Is he gonna do 83 strats? I don't think so. Okay, cool. So neither runner gonna go for the 82, 282 strats in 5-2. Uh, Very nice, okay. Bowtie is in a risky situation here, though. He does have his Fire Flower for the entire World 5. Uh, meanwhile, Boy 2 Blue has not got a Fire Flower yet. And it seems like the strategy that a lot of runners have been wanting to use is uh, get Fire Flower later and then take it with you to World 6 rather than... Because you don't get a point, you just don't get punished. Bowtie with a movement of 4. That's exactly what he needs over Boy 2. And Boy 2 is very close to, to movement of 4. Ooh, Bowtie gonna fight this Hammer Brother. It's gonna be the P-Wing. Remember, he's got that extra music box. Let's see if he remembers. Boy 2 is gonna go for the big jump, and he makes it. Wow. A lot of runners are doing that big Koopa jump in this tournament, and that's, to me, that's, um, that's amazing. This is what I was talking about. Bowtie cannot lose Fire Flower here. And he loses the Fire Flower, so he's going to be punished. Boy 2 not getting early P-Speed. Hot dang. No movement of four. Bowtie going to use the music box. I don't think Bowtie, or I don't think Boy 2's got one movement of four just yet. Don't think he's got one. Nice, making his way through the Twisty Castle, Boy 2. No, nope, that's a movement of three, not a movement of two. Or a movement of four. Yeah, boy two not getting unluckily lucky, I guess would be the right way to put it. Who's getting lucky? Who's getting unlucky? Oh, he did spawn a coin ship though. So he is going to lose a point there. He did spawn a coin ship just now. That is unfortunate. And Bowtie also still only with one movement of four here. Bowtie is going to struggle with that movement of four because he got the P-Wing from the Hammer Brother. Is he going to go for the... Ooh. Oh, don't go for it. Oh my goodness, that was crazy. Thank goodness he didn't go for it. Thank goodness he didn't go for it. That was way too close. Way too close. Bowtie getting a movement of three. Unfortunately, not going to be a movement of four. He's going to use the star here to try and get P-Speed. If he does get it... And he does get it! You can obviously tell. So he does get the early P-Speed. Gets the shared points as Boy2 did not get that. Nice, Bowtie taking his damage. He's going to grab the Leaf here. Damage boost probably in 5-7. Um, 
But unfortunately, Bowtie is behind by a little too much here with time. So he's going to have to clean that back up. And Boy 2 with two extra music boxes. Bowtie also the two extra music boxes. Neither runner is going to get the movement of four. No lifeline used for me, the runner, yet. Just double checking. Boy 2 entering the airship. If Boy 2 loses his Fire Flower, he can still get punished. Meanwhile, Bowtie has already been punished, so he's not going to have to worry about it too much. Looks like Bowtie is going to opt to get Fire Flower on the airship. Very nice. Boy 2, man, luckily he grabbed... Luckily he didn't grab the P-Wing from below because that would have cost... He, the, the Hammer Brother he needed or could have been in the way would have cost him the coin ship potentially having to play it. Big jump from Bowtie, man, killing it. Very nice. Boy 2, uh... Spawned a coin ship on the map. Gonna go for fire kill. Oh, and just like that, he does take damage. He did lose fire flower. And look at that, guys. The, the points are starting to even out a little bit here. Wow, I was not expecting that. It was the um, it was the idea of half fire killing him and half stomping on him, and that is a big hate to see it moment. That is a big hate to see it moment. Whoa, nice bow tie. Gonna use his cloud. Get across. One exits the airship. The other enters the airship. Very nice. Nice boy two. Nice using his hammer. He's got two extra music boxes to avoid Star Bro. Neither runner has gotten an inventory star yet from a Hammer Brother, or just in general, right? I mean, you don't want to use, you don't want to do spade card games in any world other than, you know, the right worlds. Boy, two getting the Hammer Brother switch. That's really good. Hammer Brother switch. That means it's impossible right now for the star. Well, not impossible, but the amount of levels that you have to do. Lands back on the platform. He, oh, that was way too scary. He could have saved his mushroom there if he jumped a little bit earlier. But he seems to be in a pretty good spot here. Wow. Grabs that star. Nice, very nice. Upside down Orbeez. Right on, gets the upside down Orbeez. Let's go. Doesn't get early P-Speed, was pretty close though. It's pretty close, not plummeting in this level, which is pretty good, man. This level, oh, gets the side rub, but not the end of the world though. Pretty good, pretty good. The bow tie having some buffering issues. Uh, I'll go ahead and refresh the stream, see if it catches up a little bit. Very nice, it does catch up. Boy 2 gonna use his P-Wing in here. We know bow tie's got lots of P-Wings. He doesn't have to worry about anything. Tail swipe. Oh! Wow! And he gets the despawn strategy. Very nice. Not easy to do. Uh, Bowtie should be able to catch up here. Oh, I missed. What was Boy 2's pattern from the Hammer Brother? Bowtie is going to get low pattern. Um, what did Boy 2 get for his first pattern? I'm not sure. We're going to find out what his second pattern is. Boy, Bowtie got low. Boy 2, I feel like, also got low. I feel like Boy 2 also got low. All right, he's having trouble figuring out which Hammer Brother to get. And Boy 2 getting low pattern here. Oh, and he gets the cloud, very nice. Now, does the cloud get in his way? That's the question. He does have an extra music box though, so it's out of his way. Oh, using the hammer prematurely. He's got to move up to use the hammer. Very nice, gets it out of the way. And Bowtie finishing up the fortress. 
Almost doesn't get P-Wing. Bowtie has low pattern. Um, I'm sure somebody's gonna grab uh, some info for me on high, high versus low. Bowtie makes his way through 6-4, looking pretty good. 6-4 is not too bad. Oh my god, the, the spinner almost threw him down. I could throw you down right into the ground here. Uh, Boy 2 didn't mark down quite yet, but he hasn't gotten any inventory stars yet. And neither has Bowtie. But I don't know if Boy 2 got two low patterns. Nice, Bowtie opting not to go for despawn, which is very safe. Neither runner got inventory star yet. Boy 2 gonna go for... Oh, and he got the clip, but he didn't get the jump. Oh, unfortunate. Nice, and he gets a third try. Very nice. Oh, Bowtie getting a marathon. This is unfortunate. He's gonna have to wait for them to split. There, and they split, and this is the Hammer Brother he wants to fight, and, and he gets low pattern, unfortunately. He's not going to be able to get high and low. Still waiting to hear back if Boy 2's first pattern was high or low. Still waiting to hear back. Bowtie not having to fight that. Doesn't get an inventory star on Bowtie's side. Neither runner getting inventory. Ooh, Boy 2 in a sticky situation here. Oh, almost takes a death. Nice. Yeah, definitely not going to go for that. Bowtie want to avoid taking damage here. Nice, and Boy 2 Blue is finishing up here. Nice. Let's get out of there. Bowtie grabbing the grab block. Boy 2 Blue did get both low patterns. That was a great opportunity for Bowtie to catch up with that point there. And Bowtie, is he going to go for wall jump here, Small Mario? Ooh, looks like it. If he gets it first try... Okay, he's going to use a P-Wing. I was curious there. I was curious. Very nice. He's definitely going to save time on Boy 2 with that. All right. Bowtie's going to be going into the fortress here. Uh, he needs to take damage to keep his P-Speed. Yep. Very nice. And he's probably... Oh, the... no. Now he definitely cannot go for the clip. Yeah, definitely not go for the clip. All right. So Bowtie's, uh... Looks like over a minute behind here. Not quite sure. Very nice. Yeah, boom booms are easy, guys, until you're racing against people, until you're on WR pace, PB pace. Ooh, boy, too. I'm not a big fan. I'm not a big fan of that subpixel manipulation he did there. He definitely pressed a pretty hard left. Definitely pressed a pretty hard left there. Uh, no runner using their lifeline. Both runners are very close in points. Both runners are very close in points here. How is 7-1 going to go for either of our runners? Bowtie says he struggles a lot with 7-1. So with him being behind, this is something he needs Boy 2 to mess up quite a bit. Missed his first jump. All right, that was a good jump. Bad sub pixel. Third try. He gets third try wall jump and he gets third try 7-1. Fantastic. Fantastic. Bowtie needs to make sure he doesn't get too close to the fire here. He should be able to get a mushroom and be safe. He's got to make sure he doesn't get a fire fire in the butt here. 
No bumps on boy twos. Bowtie is a bump master and he's got no audio at all, so we can't even have somebody listening on the other side. Nice boy two doing the standard grab star back and forth strategy. Works very well. Is he gonna get pipe to pipe though? Is he gonna get pipe to pipe though? No, it's not looking like it. I don't know how you can hear Bowtie's audio. It's muted. He's got no audio. Look. Mine isn't even muted. I don't you can't hear it. I can't hear it. I haven't even muted Bowtie right now. He's not muted. I have him max right now. But if you can listen, Bo, if you can listen, Trash Panda, I'm I'm all for it. Thank you very much. That's great. That, that's perfect for me. Yeah, if you can hear it, if you're gonna watch out for the bumps, then uh, thank you very much. All right, boy, two not getting punished in seven three. Not getting punished in seven three. And Bowtie, here we go. Needs to get seven one. It's gonna cloud. Move along the map. Oh, Bowtie jumped a little too early there. Gets a good first, gets a good second attempt. Seven one not working out for him. Jumping a little too early. He's jumping way too early here. He's missed five attempts in a row just from wall rub. Six attempts in a row. There we go. He needs to delay his jump a little bit more. There we go. Looking much better. Back to his old ways again. All right, boy, two blue needs to get this first try for a point, and he does not get it. And uh, I don't think boy two got the 183, did he? Oh, the walls, guys. The walls. It's a clip off! It's a clip off! Oh, we did get it? Okay, thank you very much. Nice, boy two making it through. Bowtie still struggling quite a bit here with the stand clip. Very unfortunate. He's doing some premature turning left here. Boy two blue gonna go for the seven eight strategy. I'm probably gonna go for hammer suit, I'm guessing. And he is gonna go for the hammer suit. I don't know if Bowtie's turning left too early. Alright, boy two. Boy two is actually going to do seven nine. Seems like the level a lot of runners are going to be doing. He's gotta watch out for that for that red paragoomba. And now he's doing some grab blocks. Oh, and the leg there. The leg is crazy. Oh, and he takes damage on the Goomba, and Bowtie gets seven one. Nice! He's in there. Done. Doesn't have to worry about it anymore, except for game two. Gets in there. He's hey though, he's not that far behind, right? He's not he's not in the weeds just yet. He's gonna have to grab the fire flower here. Hopefully he knows the backup. Very nice. No bumps for boy two! No bumps for boy two! No bonks or overworld bumps. Oh, maybe he did bonk! He didn't write it down. He didn't mark it down with the no bumps, so maybe he didn't get the bonk. Bowtie getting gated by 7-2, not the first time we've seen that. Wants to take it easy, he doesn't want to take damage. He wants to have a safe 7-3. He does not want to get punished. He does not want to get punished. He also doesn't want to get fanfare here. Yeah, very nice, very nice.
All right, here we go. 7-3, the gatekeeper, 7-3. Doing one turn back. He should be good with that one turn back. Oh, Bowtie's got this in the bag. Oh, yeah, he's got this in the bag. Very nice. I would not have done the turn back card there. I would not have done the turn back card, but he's not getting gated. Nice. Gonna use the P Wing. So, is he gonna go for. Oh, was that a bump? Was that a bump? That was a bump. That was a bonk. I don't need the audio to know. El Bonco strats. Oh, he's gonna get it. Oh, okay. Please don't run off the pipe here. Jump, jump. Yes. Oh, that's so good. He's got it. Nice. Gonna go for sub pixel manipulation. I think. Nice. He gets the 83. Dude, he's, he's keeping up. He's keeping up right now. With that 7-1 not being very nice to him. Okay. Oh, and he jumped too early. He probably had the right sub-pixel. With someone who's not as good with the clips as Bowtie, I was wondering if he should avoid getting this point. Right? And, and he should uh, P-Wing. Oh, and he gets it. Very nice. Much better. A lot, a lot of clip practice he needs because a lot of the times he's messing up the actual jump into the clip and it's not, it's not the game's fault. It's not the subpixel's fault. It's the player's fault, unfortunately. He cannot get the clip if he doesn't get the jump properly, right? So it, it's not going to work out like that. Nice, going for the 7-7. Seven, seven. Much easier level here. He would be a lot less behind if this if the 7-1 worked in his favor. I was wondering if he should just enter 7-1 and do it that way. Uh, because 7-1 versus 10 tries 7-1 for the clip, I think, is almost faster. So it's like, I think you have like 13 tries at 7-1 before it's slower. That's it. 13 tries at 7-1 before it's slower. Nice, okay, with bow tie in the clips, I do not want to see him going for clips. Yes, okay, yes. All right, time to get out of there. Well, I want to see him go for mid clip. Mid clip kind of has like a pretty basic visual cue to it. You just got to duck jump before you get, before you get to the line. Very nice, gonna go for the jump. All right, mid clip right here. Ah, oh, so he pressed jump when he was over the hole, so his jump didn't register. Come on, block. Let's go. Very nice. So we're going to see Bowtie also doing the same thing. He's going to music box. Nice. Music box cloud. Very nice. Unfortunately, Bowtie is in a position where it's... He, it's going to be difficult for him to get sub 60 minutes. He's got 12 minutes right now to do the rest of the run. So we'll see how it goes. That's 7-1. He would have almost an additional two minutes if 7-1 didn't, didn't frig him around. Um, so far, no runner using lifeline. Bowtie cannot afford to not get under 60 here. He cannot afford that. Mainly because it looks like he's going to lose in the time situation, which means he's going to go down three points, second place and sub 60. Most runners would use their lifeline in second race anyways. I approve. I approve of the Navy. We have officially made it to auto scroller land, guys. We have officially made it to auto scroller land. Thank you. 
And two! And two for boy two! Oh, bow tie almost getting stunned right there. That was so close. And boy two only getting pulled in by one hand. Very nice. Ooh, bow tie going for the off screen wand grab. I like to see that. I like to see that. All right, boy two is on the air force. Definitely don't want to see a death on the Air Force. That is that is too much. Death on the Air Force is very scary. Bowtie has nine minutes. Technically, he does have enough time to beat this world in under 60 minutes. Bowtie needs Boy2 to not get his combo points, conveyor speed, and maybe take a death or two. I don't know. Because Bowtie is probably going to go down a couple points here for losing the race. So we'll see. Oh, and he gets clipped! That is a common mistake that has definitely happened to a lot of people. Not going to be able to get the combo point here. Oh, he almost didn't make that jump. That was way too close. Way too close. All right, he's gonna have to go for the eight two. Is he gonna go for the sand? He's not gonna go for the sand. Knowing he can't get the combo point, the sand is pretty safe, but he probably feels pretty confident with this. Nice, okay, he does make it, he's good. And he makes it cross. Nice try, Mr. Sun. It was a plant that took his fire flower, not you. He's gonna use his fire flower, take a nice slow menuing, make sure he doesn't hit that warp whistle. And he's got conveyor P speed is his last point that he can get here. And he does get it, very nice. Conveyor P speed. Looks like he's going to end race one. Oh, no! That is going to slow him down a little bit. He does not have enough time to make it to the cycle. Oh, and he takes damage. He's got to grab his Fire Flower anyways. Okay, a little bit of a slip up. Probably not happy about that. Fire Flower in the door. He knows it. Very nice. Oh, he's not going to go for Meme Door. Nice. With the little slide strategies under the spikes. Bowtie's fireball is going directly through the navy. Very weird. Auto scroller, auto uh, scroller. Come on, auto scrollers. It's too much on the line right now. Bowtie needs to get no hands here, man. No hands for Bowtie, and he should. It looks like he's pretty close in the clear. Hand number two, not bad. Not bad, that's what boy two got. Oh, and that's gonna be it. That is definitely gonna sink him. That is gonna dunk him. 
Whew. Nice hand strategies. The the duck, the duck jump under. Boy two gonna use his hammer suit. Bowtie desperately needs the last two points. That's right. I hope he's been practicing his points. He says he's been practicing, and I believe him, man. He's been getting a lot of points here. <laughs> nice. And just like that, Boy 2 is going to finish up here. Nice. Bowser kill. He's going to finish up with a 56 OX. I think. 56 OX, I think. It's like on his timer, 56 06. Very nice. 56 06 with first place. Bowtie's gonna have to take that second place here. All right, Bowtie needs these points here. Needs these cleanup points. He could be back on nine and then back at seven, which is not too bad. A four point difference isn't bad at all. So let's see how he does here. Not gonna use the star here. Unfortunately, I don't think this is gonna be enough for him to get, yeah, it's not gonna be enough. So, so Bowtie's not gonna be able to get the combo point. But hopefully, he does have enough time for conveyor, conveyor P-Speed. He also has enough time to just take Sands, so he doesn't have to worry about losing any more points. If he dies in 8-2, in that can also be really bad. Yeah, we want to see him take the Sands here. All right, he's going for it. Very nice. Gonna do the cloud jump. Nope, he's gonna run to the bottom. Big jump, kill the turtle, and he's out of there. So he only has enough time for conveyor P speed and uh, tank brigade two, and that is it. Gonna use the star. Oh, he ran too far. He had it, though. He had the right buildup. It was right there. He had the right buildup. Man, that was so close. He he done everything right. He just didn't. He ran on the bottom conveyor, unfortunately. He ran on the bottom conveyor, unfortunately. No, so a lot of people forget that when you first start, right? When you first start, you have four points, right? You're not technically given a free four points. The four points is issued because it's assumed that you didn't die in the run. It's assumed that you got first place and it's assumed you got under 60. So Bowtie getting punished for under 60 brings them back down to five, right? Normally we can, we can start where people get what is it? Right? We can start where everyone's on second place and minus the one, but that's not how we do it. So Bowtie is back down to five. And Boy 2 with the 11. Bowtie with the five so far. Unless he somehow dies, but if he dies after this tank, he, he won't lose a point because he's already... Everyone a winner. Yes, everyone starts with four, and that's because it's assumed first, no deaths, and their time, right? We could technically start it off at zero if everyone wanted, but it's better, it's better when we when they start off at the same. It's always it's always been like this. Exactly, you can start all points checked, yeah. So we just start with these ones. Very nice, and Bowtie's run just ended right there. But he's going to finish Bowser, he's so close, he might as well. Yeah, GG to Bowtie for finishing up 
I think this is his first, you know, official race slash tournament, and I think he did a great job. All right. Yeah, the worst. Let these runners take a five minute break and then we'll be right back for race two with these runners.
How's it going, guys? I'm just scarfing down some chips right now. Everyone takes a break. What flavor? Um, kettle brand salt and vinegar. So I can only have like four of them or else I'll die of salt overload. What do you mean, ew? Everyone loves salt and vinegar chips. Oh my gosh, Ice Dog, if you send me ketchup chips, I will love you forever. So salt and vinegar chips aren't my favorite chip. It's just I know a lot of people like it. My favorite chips of the entire world is spicy Doritos. I'm gonna eat these forever. I gotta go put them away. Let's make sure these two runners are ready to go. All right. All right, on go from three. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Woo. All right, just like that, we are on race two. Boy two blue versus bow tie. I mean, or it's boy 22 blue. I mean, what do we got, right? Oh, Bowtie taking an early death. Thought he had P speed. Not quite. That early death is definitely going to cost him there. Uh, let's scroll on up. We got World 1. If he gets the tunnel trick, though, right? If he gets the tunnel strategy. Nice. Bowtie getting a chance to show us that he can, in fact, do. Oh, and that's why I don't do the turtle jump off that. I hate the turtle jump. And that is two deaths right there. Unfortunately, in the 1-1 one, one zone, two deaths. That's not the first time we've seen this. We've seen another runner take two deaths in World 1 as well. World 1 is... 1-1 one, one is awful, and it's scary, guys. It is very scary. All right, he did it. He's out. There you go. The race can start. Let's go, Bowtie. Boy, 22 Blue is going to be the first one to attempt 1-5 MFP Tunnel. Let's see if he gets it. 
Nice. Bowtie with a delayed P speed. Very nice. Gonna go for the slide strategies. That was really cool. Kept his P speed with slide. Boy 22. Not gonna be able to get the MFP tunnel. Unfortunate. This is a great opportunity for Bowtie to bring some of these points back. Nice. He's gonna go for the fortress. Get the fortress done. Very nice, Bowtie getting up there, Boy22. Getting done with the 1-6, gets the early P-Speed, he does, very nice. Does not have to worry about that level, that is a horrible level. See, Bowtie's not that far behind right now, see? Those deaths are very quick in World 1. All right, keeps P-Speed, now it's a great opportunity for the MFP Tunnel. Oh, he was so close from getting it. Taking damage in the MFP Tunnel is not allowed. But the MFP tunnel, tunnel goodness is not allowed. Oh, boy 22 getting the leaf. That is a point in his pocket. That is fantastic. Ooh, Bowtie almost with the death there. That was way too scary. But he does get his mushroom and he's on his way out of there. He's on his way out of there. All right, no runner getting it. Uh, Boy22 not getting the throne jump. All right, Bowtie, come on, you need the leaf. Oh, the mushroom getting the double mushroom, unfortunate. No back pocket points. Bowtie getting the throne jump right there. Very nice. I don't think I don't think Boy22 got the throne jump. He didn't mark it down. Maybe he did. I'm not quite sure. Gets the fire kill though on the boss. Very nice. Here we go. World 2, no mode of tears, red rocket, and boomerang bros moving backwards. That's exactly what we're looking for here. All right, let's do it. Very nice, boy. Bowtie finishing up. Meanwhile, Boy22 is finishing 2-1. He's probably going to go back down, go for spade card game strategy. So let's scroll on down. Oh, he's, oh he almost forgot. I was He confused me there for a second. But he's going to go for it. He's going to look at his little cheat sheet. It does open up the 10. He's going to look and see which card game it is. And he's got it. Very nice. Very nice for Boy22 getting the spade card game. Looks like he's gonna finish it back up here. Just like that, he is out of there. Nice, Bowtie's working on his 2-1 as well. He's a little bit behind uh, Boy 2 especially. Oh, I thought Boy 2 was gonna lose his momentum there. So close for Boy 22. He almost, on both runs, jumped past that Koopa and fell in the moat. Bowtie is going to go down for his $10. Very nice. $10 right away. I think both of Bowtie's um, spade card games were the same. All right, here we go, Bowtie. Do not fall in the mode of tears this time. Last time fell in that mode, had a bad time. You're gonna have a bad time. Oh, he 
makes it. He was not expecting to walk off that top block, but he, he did anyways. Boy, 22 is going to go for the music box, bro. And it moves forward. Boy is not getting some great RNG in his runs. However, he does get the back pocket point leap for World 6. But does he remember to use it? Neither runner has lost their Fire Flower in this. Oh, man, Boy22 almost lost his Fire Flower right there. Way too close. As soon as I say it. Oh, he does the back jump. Hey, wow, he gets it still. Very nice. Very, very nice. He's gonna wait for it to pass by. Doesn't want to take any random damage. Bowtie making very good P-Speed strategies in the fortress. Gonna go for the boom, boom, fire kill. Get that out of the way. Very nice. And Bowtie is caught up kind of nice. Bowtie gonna go for the music box here. Does it move backwards? It does move backwards for him. I was just gotta get that second one. Alright, Bowtie also gonna go for the Red Rocket strategies. Not getting the P-Speed. Yeah, he's got to throw it. Yeah, he's got to get rid of it. Unfortunately, that's what makes the Red Rocket strategy hard, is that uh, keeping the P-Speed after grabbing it sometimes can be really, really frustrating. Very nice on Bowtie. He's going to save a little bit of time right there just from not having to wait. But he's not going to get that point, unfortunately. Boy, 22 has already had a forward moving bro, so it's very unfortunate that this one moved backwards. Nice. It's going to be a good opportunity for Bowtie to go down to 2-5. It is the safer level. You do want to do 2-5. Oh, he almost didn't spawn the blocks in time enough for them to break. Bowtie gets the RNG point, and he does get the RNG point. Very nice. That's tough, man. Bowtie would be back up at seven. I think they'd be tied. They'd be tied with points right now. Had the two early game deaths not occurred. Alright, Bowtie is going to go to the Pyramid, gets the RNG point, doesn't get Red Rocket though, unfortunately, and took two deaths. Bowtie would actually have seven points right now. Alright, okay, why would Bowtie have seven points? Oh, that's right, that's right. Boy22 got the... And Boy22 has not taken damage yet in World... In World 2, has he? He's not taken damage yet, has he? Alright, moving on to World 3. Neither runner has taken damage in World 2. Alright, Bowtie's a little bit further behind in, in Game 2 than he was in Game 1. Just gets the fire kill. Nice. That's right, Bowtie missed his throne jump. All right, we are moving on to world three. Boy22 needs to get the frame jump at the start of 3-1 if he wants to be able to make Bowtie sweat a little bit more. Because if Bowtie doesn't get the frame jump, he's giving the point to Boy22 Blue. He doesn't get it this time. Leaves the door open for Bowtie. Bowtie needs to get that frame jump. And that will allow him to get a point over Boy22. Ooh, foo, foo, foo. Catching up in points.
Very nice. Very nice bow tie side. Right on, boy 22. Oh, doesn't want to go through the fish. He's in the water. He's in the water. He's in a tough spot. Oh my gosh, not going through the cheap cheeps. Wow. That is some risky stuff right there going through the cheap cheeps. All right, Bowtie, does he get the frame jump? Oh, he doesn't get the frame jump. Nice try from both of our runners though. All right, let's see how Runaway goes here. Nice, very nice for Boy22 and Bowtie making good work of their levels. Bowtie not quite out of early, not quite out of runaway range. Boy22 is, ooh, oh no, he's good, he's good, he's good, he's good. He's got a screen scroll there. Uh, he's actually in a really good spot. And Bowtie making great work of 3-2 as well. <gasps> ooh, Boy22 missed his jump there, doesn't want to take damage. Does he get door four? He doesn't get door four. Very unfortunate, no door four action. He also definitely does not want to die. That's going to really mess up everything for him. So Bowtie in runaway range. It's going to be very scary. Nice, boy two landing door six. You got to love it, man. Door six is a tough one. Nice boy, Bowtie doing a little flip flappies, but he does make it. Oh, pixels on the side, but doesn't go through. Nice, and yeah, boy boy, 22 is good no matter what. Bowtie not in coin ship range. He's okay, and boy 22 takes damage there. That is horrible. He's not going to be awarded the point now for taking no damage. Bowtie still has not taken damage and also doesn't get run away, unfortunately. Bowtie going to go for door four here. Oh, and he doesn't get door four. Very unfortunate. I know these runners have been practicing their points, man. I was hoping one of them got door four. Nice, and no inventory star for boy 22. Bowtie's in a good spot here. He's trying to figure out exactly what he wants to do. Gets P-Speed this time. Nice, dude. I love to see it. Yes. Nice, and he does get the H jump. That is crazy. Bowtie's going to have to use his music box. I don't think he wants to use his music box, right? He's gonna have to do the double screen scroll. I'm surprised he uses he didn't use his music box there. He is now not gonna be able to get the um, no inventory star point. Uh, that's okay though. I mean, it, it's all about what runners are comfortable with, right? If he gets if he skips the Hammer Brothers here and then gets screwed over hardcore in World Four and takes a death or something in the fortress. He could lose like three points there and time. In this instant, he's just losing a little bit of time and one point. And with these tournaments, you always got to go with what's comfortable. All right, so Bowtie, unfortunately, not going to be able to get any points from World 3. No frame jump from either of them. Neither runner actually getting no points. While Bowtie hasn't taken damage yet. Bowtie has not taken damage yet in World 2 or World 3 so far. Oh, almost got the wall jump there. He's going to have to watch out and not take any damage here. Very nice. Very nice. So he's so far, he's in the right... Yo. 
I was so scared. He's in the right spot to get points. In a good spot to get points. He does got to get the Wendy kill, though. Hopefully, Bowtie knows how to get the fire kill on Wendy. Both runners having 70 coins at the same time. That is interesting. Get your gamble on! Alright, here we go. Bowtie on the airship. I think Bowtie had a much better World 3 than last time. Alright, boy needs to get the bottom path! Gets P-Speed. Oh! I don't know, man. He he lost P-Speed there for a second, so I don't think- We've seen that same thing happen before. And he lost P-Speed there. So he's not going to be able to get that point. He also didn't mark it down for him getting the point either. So he knows he didn't get that point. We have seen that before. So we have to mark that down. Not getting the despawn, but he's going to be able to get the bump there. Bowtie not taking damage. And Bowtie gets the damageless worlds two to three. Very nice on Bowtie's side. Now it is six, five, but boy has a pocket point. As long as he remembers to use the leaf there. As long as he remembers to use the leaf there. He's getting decent Hammer Brother movements, not so bad. Alright, it's Bowtie's turn. Now Bowtie has a great opportunity to tie it up in current points right now let's see if he can do it this is very important for him let's listen to boy 22's hammer brothers movements maybe he gets a marathon oh and bowtie not getting p speed that was a great opportunity for him what he should have done is he should have wall rubbed oh boy 22 almost nailing it very close yeah what bowtie needed to do was um, when he damaged, when he, when he, the two shells killed each other, he should have just ran right into the pipe and jumped and got slow P speed in the water and stuff. It would have been great. Oh, almost taking damage again. I don't think Bowtie knows that if you shoot the second Koopa. Ooh, boy 22. Imagine he used that leaf there. That would have been great for Bowtie. Uh, so, from what I've heard, Bowtie's strategy is to use a P-Wing in 4-4 and then have a have a Leaf for 4-6. But what he should do is just do 4-4 normally and then use the P-Wing in 4-6 and do one jump and then get out of there. That, that definitely is the strat there. Oh, boat! Oh, and the death! He was not expecting to not have P-Speed. Unfortunate. That's three deaths now. Hammer Brothers doing a movement of four. Not much he can do about it. And he's gonna equip... The Mushroom. Hey, he's gotta put him to sleep now. Alright, boy Boy 22 is gonna go for the Duck Jump Strategies. Does he get it? Oh, Bowtie taking another death. Nice, and Boy22 is going to be able to get the duck jumps right there. Bowtie bleeding those points, unfortunately. Hey man, when you're in a death spiral, there's not much you can do about it. Now he's got some nice P-Speed, so it looks like Bowtie should be able to just get through this the way he normally does. And yeah, it took three tries, but he got it. Took three tries, but he got it. Boy is gonna take it slow here. He gets the fire kill, very nice. All 
All right, let's, so let's see if Bowtie is gonna use his P-Wing strategy. I would recommend not to and then use it later, but it seems like he's got the strategy down. Last time he took damage and he was unable to do the 4-5. I hope he's practiced this quite a bit. It seems stressful here. When do you drop? Does he know at a time? Like in the in-game timer? Oh, he drops at the wall. Ah, okay. It's not a bad strategy, especially if it's comfortable. He's gonna he's gonna fly here. He's gonna fly, and I'm guessing he's gonna bounce off of an enemy after the fly. He gets a movement of four. Oh, he's not gonna go for the music box here. Uh, Bowtie has already fought an inventory star, so he's 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 unfortunately already out of that point. But hopefully he gets the duck jumps here in four six. He's gonna go nice. He's gonna go for the P wing. All right, I want to see the strategy. What does he have planned here? That's a pretty juicy strategy. Hey, it worked. That's actually a lot of those jumps line up with each other. That's a good strategy. Maybe a little bit faster, um, but other than that, that's actually a pretty good strategy for the tournament. Right? He almost cleared it on a single duck jump. Exactly, man. That was that's actually pretty damn good. He said he had a juicy strategy, and I like I'm glad he was able to show it off. Boy, he's going to be the first one to get to World 5. Pretty good timing because Bowtie just joined the airship. And, you know, we, we don't... Over here, we don't like watching airships. They're the most boring part of the game. Very nice. He did that better the second time than the first time. Uh, the first time he did it, he didn't get that first duck jump, so that's very nice on his part. Is he gonna go for the shaft, though? I think he is. No, he's not. Okay, okay. Everyone compromises, right? Super Compromise Bros 3. You have to pick and choose which strategies work best for you. Nice boy 22. Oh man, I thought he was gonna accidentally use his P-Wing or Cloud there. That would be really, really bad. Get auto scrolled. Boom, nice. Bowtie does get the stomps here. But much like last time, he is entering. He is entering World 5 with Fire Flower, so it makes it a little bit more stressful for him. Alright, Boy22 on the Twisty Castle does get his P speed. Ooh, he's gonna lose it here. I wonder if he's gonna take damage. I wonder if he's gonna take damage here. 
Almost, almost. He, he, he knows the rebuild. He gets it. He gets it. Oh! Take damage there. Almost losing it. All right, Bowtie gonna do OG 5 1. Nice. I'd love to see the turnbacks. That's exactly how I would do it. Nice, gets the turn back, so he gets the kill there. Oh, almost had the 99 coins. He does not want to spawn another coin ship like he did last time. He does not want to spawn another coin ship. Spoin another coin ship, guys. Spoin. All right, Bowtie entering 5-2 with Fire Flower. He's not going to do the shaft. Boy 2 definitely got that. I could easily see it. Big Koopa jump right there for Boy 22. That is such... Man, the, the rate that people are going for that... I had thought there were going to be a lot more compromises, but some people are just going for it. Boy22 not really getting any movements of 4 here. And he's not going to be able to get early P-Speed in 5-5. Five five. Bowtie was able to get that last time, so... I think for round 2, we're going to see Boy22 practicing an alternative strategy. Bowtie getting a movement of 4 there. Was that Bowtie's second movement of 4? If he uses a music box right here, we will know for sure. Not gonna use a music box. Don't worry, I've been paying attention. I'll know if, I'll know for sure uh, if that was the second or first movement of four. Boy 22 is now going to get his Fire Flower. Cannot afford to lose it. He's sweeping in with some of these points. If he loses it, he's just losing all of these points. A bow tie is going to get a movement of two, he's gonna use a music box here. Right there, okay, now I will be able to know for sure if he, get, if he was getting movements of four. Boy 22 is almost in coin ship range, that is very scary. Nice, Bowtie have an amazing twisty castle so far. As long as he didn't clip through those blocks. Oh, and he gets the dry bones. That dry bones is the worst slash best place enemy of all time. Bowtie's got 91 coins. He's just gotta watch out for that 99 coins. And Bowtie's first movement of four, not his second. So Bowtie is definitely gonna get a second movement of four here. Oh, is he gonna go for the big jump? Oh, and he's got it for sure. Very nice from both. Sick, dude. Now, if he gets early P speed in 5 5, he's going to get another point that Boy 22 did not get. Oh, Bowtie not getting movements of four here. He still has time to get those movements of four. All right, let's see how his body rubs work. That is his strategy. I mean, he didn't want to get the leaf. He got P-Speed, so I have to count it. That's how we decided. He did get P-Speed. I gotta count it. Alright, Bowtie needs to get another movement of four here. He needs to get a movement of four. He's not getting it. He can't now. That's it. Only one movement, man. Why is every runner getting unlucky in the points tournament? Very nice from Bowtie. Bowtie is definitely... Where was this Bowtie in race 1 and earlier this race? I think his favorite world is world 5 because he is annihilating it. Great, now he does a movement of 4. Good job, Hammer Brother. Good job. Not a good job. Ooh, head bonk in there. Neither runner wants to lose Fire Flower here. Boy 22 lost his Fire Flower actually on the boss here, so. Let's hope it doesn't happen again. Too close, but he doesn't lose Fire Flower. He's not going to get punished. And Bowtie does not need this music box. Nice, you can get early P-Speed as long as everything goes well here. 
Looking pretty good. Going for the swag turn back fire shot. The swag turn back fire shot. Uh, no runner using their lifeline just yet. No runner using their lifeline. Bowtie using a cloud and getting the heck out of there. Let's see what Boy22's first hammer brother is here. And it's going to be... I'm going to guess it's going to be high pattern. He's going to get high pattern. Nope, I was wrong. He's getting low pattern. Bowtie and Boy22 getting the elevator strategies. Wow, man. Boy22 is doing a crazy, crazy fortress here. Very good. Top tier world record type level of fortress. Very nice. And Bowtie doinking around with the shots here. Man, I do not dick around on auto scrollers. I have definitely been punished way too many times in the past, but... Bowtie knows what he's doing, so I trust him. Boy22 needs to not miss any input here. Not gonna get early P-Speed. Oh, and Bowtie taking damage. I can only imagine it was directly due to doinking around on the airships. Doinking around on the airships. I don't know for sure, though. I didn't see it. I just turned and looked, and he, he had already taken damage. So I don't know exactly what happened. Maybe it was an accident. Who knows? Boy22 is going to use a P-Wing here. All right, let's see if he goes for the despawn strategy again. Seems like he practiced it. He's quite good at it. And just like that, he gets the despawn strategy. Boy 22 got low pattern first. Bowtie is going to get. High pattern. So we got low versus high right now. Bowtie getting high. All right, boy 22 gets high pattern. Wow, he is going to be issued that point. Bow, Bowtie getting the switcheroonie. Nice, gonna use this fire flower here. Extra fire flower for the damage boost. Boy 22 getting lucky. Not gonna have to worry about inventory stars either. Nice. Very nice on Bowtie using the damage boost strats. Boy 22 gonna take damage a little later. Nice Bowtie gonna wait for the star. Oh, oh, I think he has enough time though. I think he's actually still good. I think he's still good. Boy22 needs to not forget to equip a star here. Not going to forget to equip a star. Now let's see. Let's see if he remembers. Or his cloud. His leaf. Sorry, his leaf. Bowtie getting another marathon, and Boy22 using his leaf. Gonna mess him around a little bit here. The leap is awkward with the jumps, but he is going to be able to get... Oh, and he doesn't get full H. It takes damage here. Is he gonna go for the jump? Nice, Bowtie is also gonna get high pattern. He's gonna be awarded the high low. Oh wait, no, Bowtie got high first, actually. All right, Boy22, is he going to get... Oh, and he doesn't get the wall jump first try. Very nice try. Oh, it gets its second try. Kick in the teeth. Bowtie already has his inventory star. Um, Unless I've missed Boy22 getting an inventory star, he has not marked it down on his own tracker. I'm not sure why. I'm not sure why. I don't think he got inventory star from anywhere. Nice, gonna go for the clip as long as he doesn't take damage here. Very nice. Oh, very nice try. Uh, Bowtie should definitely, definitely fight this other Hammer Brother at a chance to get a point here. Since he's already lost his no inventory star point, uh, he should definitely fight it here. 
I know he's strapped for time, but he should go for the high lows. Not going to, unfortunately, but that's... Oh, wait. No, no, it's, he's okay. He's okay. Very nice. All right, Boy22 did mark it off with 11 points so far. He is tied with his race one. 22 points on the board so far. Uh, Bowtie with 11, so he's about down by half right now. And a little bit behind in time, so it's looking kind of grim for Bowtie to bring it back. Unfortunately... Yeah, Boy is playing very well. He has demonstrated that he practiced a lot. Not to say that Bowtie hasn't, but there's just a couple little slip-ups. Uh, I think Bowtie in total has actually died five times. So, without even generating any points, Bowtie would have 16 points, while Boy2 would have 22. So, it would be much closer uh, with the no deaths. Boy22 has not taken any deaths, so it's a big, big difference. They're non-points related. It's just unfortunately dying, right? Exactly. It could be that prime time. It could be the pressure. I mean... Anytime I see any runner in the points tournament die in 1-1, one, one, I automatically feel like the nerves are there, man. It's the nerves. Um, but I encourage everyone who's in this tournament, everyone who plays SMB3 speedruns, do not do the jump off the red Koopa at the end of 1-1 one, one, ever. Just learn and definitely adapt. Um, oh, I thought he had that. Learn and adapt to the small jump off the end of the clouds. Um, you can use the coins almost as like a little tunnel of where you want to jump through. And that will make 1-1 one, one much easier. Much easier. Nice Bowtie finishing up World 6. Uh, he did not get high, low, leap, wall jump, first try, or floor clip with the inventory star. So unfortunately, no points awarded to Bowtie in World 6. But he is entering World 7. And here we go, Boy22. Not first try. Not second try. He's very good at the jump there. I can see Boy22 getting, you know, if he gets lucky most of the time, he doesn't do more than 10 attempts. Because a lot of his jumps are pretty good. Now, he's probably close to 10 attempts now, so... No, I think he made it in 10 or less there. Uh, but it's all I can tell by the way he's jumping into the corner that eventually he'll get it due to the luck because his jump is very nice into the corner. He's got to keep that up. Keep practicing that corner jump. And I know right now that Bowtie is just dreading 7-1, right? And I, we don't blame him. I, I mean, what with what happened in race one, I don't blame him. I'd be really nervous for it too. It's such a lame thing to happen. Boy 22, is he gonna get pipe to pipe? No, no pipe to pipe. Nice, finishing up 7 2. No bonks. No bonks or bumps on the overworld map for Boy 22 yet. He does have 7 3, though. Nice, Bowtie going for the subpixel manipulation to guarantee subpixel 15. Now, as long as Bowtie doesn't mess up his jump, he will get the clip first try. This It's interesting to see him actually doing this right now because this is brand new for him. As long as he didn't press hard on the D-pad, he should have subpixel 15. No bump for Boy22 Blue yet. Bowtie just needs to have a perfect jump, and he's guaranteed the clip. He's got to get a good jump here. Oh, and he jumped too early again. Oh, he's just jumping way too early. He's technically only had... There we go. Yes! I'm so happy for him. Yes, much better. 
much better. But if you were watching this back bow tie, I'm personally telling you, you gotta practice that jump into the corner of the block. Jumping way too early there. I'm gonna try and save you minutes here. Minutes and stress. All right, gotta jump a little bit. Uh, Boy22 did not get punished by 7-3. I was watching him. I don't know what you mean by he got 7-3, but he did not get punished, so he doesn't lose a point there. Um, did Boy22, however, get 183 in the fortress, though? That is important. Ooh, Bowtie, did he get pipe to pipe here? Oh, he does! Pipe to pipe, love to see it. No bumps on the overworld map. Nice, gonna use the star here. Pipe to type. He did get no P-Wing. 183. Very nice. Alright, Bowtie. It's your time. We got Trash Panda probably looking over Bowtie's uh, map movements, which I very, very much appreciate. As long as Bowtie doesn't get punished here. Oh, no. Bowtie with the turnbacks. Wow. Bowtie just misses losing a point there. Way too close. Bowtie not bumping yet. Did he bump there? Did Bowtie bump on that screen transition? Nice, man. I find this 183 point to be pretty difficult. Very nice from Bowtie. Bowtie also gets the 183. Very nice. Boy 22 making his way through the, the sand maze. No bump yet from either runner. Oh, Bowtie had bad sub pixel or else he would have got it. He would have got that first try. Just bad sub-pixels. Nice! And Boy22 does not get any bumps in the overworld. Bringing him up to the 13. Very nice for him. Bowtie getting the clip, but then only... Much better clips on Bowtie's side. Much better clips on Bowtie's side. Nice, Bowtie going for a safe 7-7. Seven, seven. Here, I'll fill in for you guys. Pinging Haxer. Seeing if Haxer wants to step in for a second rate. Go, Bowtie, go! Oh, he still took damage! So awkward. Yes, you can do these clips in the All-Star version. This is why I don't do exactly what Boy22 is doing. Way too scary. Nice. Bowtie with the combo there. The music note combo power up. A little laggy there. Take some time. Crazy, I don't hear Bowtie's audio. I mean, I just muted it there. Oh, nice try, Bowtie. The same thing, grab it! There we go. <laughs> the same thing that happened last time to Bowtie. Not, not having a good grab, but he got it, he got it, he's good. Grab it! Oh, and Boy22 taking damage from the boss here. Very nice. Almost gets stunlocked. And Bowtie with the no bumps on the overworld map unless I'm told otherwise. He bumped. He bumped right at the end. Oh, that's horrible. That is horrible. Bump right at the end. 
Oh, whoops. Oh, man, right at the end with the bump. All right, these guys are on auto scroll land. How's it going, chat? How you guys doing? Race two is about to finish up. You guys doing well? They're in auto scroller land. Hold on one sec, I'll be right back. Did boy 22 get no hands? Did boy 22 get no hands? That's crazy. That's crazy. Oh my gosh. I, I had to step out just for a quick second. It, it's it's auto scrollers, so I stepped away for a second. I stepped away at a great time. 
because Bowtie is now on the Navy, while Boy22 is going up at 8-1 and 8-2 the combo. Last time, he wasn't able to secure it. Hey, guys. You have to admit, if I'm going to step away for a sec, the auto-scrollers are definitely the way to do it. Alright, Boy22 having a much, much better... Much, much better 8-1 there for Boy22 Blue. Bowtie is also having a much better race this time. He's already at the hands. Ooh, I don't know. I don't think so. It's got to be 291, right? That's he's oh, and he doesn't get the combo point. All right, let's see if Bowtie. Oh, two no hands in a row. This tournament has got so many no hands. This is so silly. I think we've already gotten more no hands in this season than both seasons combined. Both seasons combined. Oh no, Bowtie! The no hands have cursed his panics! Does he get no hands again? Oh, that would have been sick. No! Bowtie was on track for sub 60. I hope this doesn't get in the way of that. Oh, and Boy22 takes damage! That's okay though, he does have the hammer suit still. Damn! And Boy22 gets Conveyor P-Speed. Damn, that's way, way too close. He does have a Leaf, though. Nice, he gets past the hands. There we go. Damn, dying after no hands. I, I feel that, though. I feel the dying after no hands, because getting no hands is such a panic. Uh, it's so nerve-wracking. I, don't, I, I honestly don't think it matters what kind of run you're on. That's right, when you die in the Air Force, you go back to the pipe, back behind the hands. Uh, but Bowtie is already still faster than his last race. And Boy22, I don't want to see a death here. Nice, just like that boy, uh, Bowtie is going to finish the Air Force. Very good. Oh, that unfortunate death, man. That one hurts. That one hurts more than anything. He still only got one hand, though. Nice, Bowtie gets a clean getaway there with the dec with the um, the damage boosting. Very nice. Not gonna be able to secure the combo point, but I don't think he was going for the combo point uh, to begin with. Eight one and eight two is very stressful. Uh, he has a much faster eight two though than he does eight one, so that's really really good. And boy, twenty two is gonna finish up probably with a solid fifty six again, depending on how the stairs go here, depending on how the clips. That was way too close. That was way too close. Oh man, Boy22 really cutting it close there. Same with Bowtie, but Bowtie makes it work. Very nice, gets the Bowser kill. Oh no, he's gonna, so he's gonna finish up with a high 55 actually. Uh, neither runner using their lifeline either. Very nice for boy 22 blue. Um, I need to ask him. We gotta double check though. Does Bowtie get conveyor P speed? Oh, he almost gets it. Oh, man, Bowtie twice. So close to conveyor P speed. Dun 
Yep, uh... Can somebody in chat go back to Boy22's World 7? I didn't see him bump, but he's not sure if he bumped. Um, so... We're kind of at a st we're kind of at a standoff. I don't think he bumped, so I'd give him the point. But he he is not sure if he bumped. So now I'm confused. I would give him the point. I didn't catch a bump. All right, Bowtie on the auto scroller here. He's gonna finish up. Excellent run for both runners. Yeah, I'm so happy for Bowtie coming out and uh, competing uh, in the tournament. He's been he's been running Mario three for a little bit. Um, he's a very he's a very very busy person and stuff. So uh, it's really cool that he can get some time to come out here and do this. That is really cool. But unfortunately, that is not going to cut it. 14 points for game two. Giving him a total of 25 points throughout the race. And Bowtie is going to have to walk away with a solid 6 for game 2. Walking away with 11 points. Unless he does not hit the hour barrier here. If he doesn't, and that's it. The next races are in 15 minutes after this. Nice. He's going to use Hammer Suit. He's going to use a star. Nice, clean inventory. Loving an elevator. And boy, 22 making it to round two. That is correct. He's going to be able to secure that win. And he has a very nice career total in points. Very nice career total. I love Somersault Hammer. I love the way Hammer looks in Somersault form. Nice, and just like that, Bowtie is also going to finish in under 60. Yes, Bowtie, G frickin' G. GG to both of our runners did a fan frickin' tastic job. All right, very nice. GG to both runners. Yeah!